In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. In the name of the one God, His Word, and His Spirit, Amen. Dear friends, here is the original text of the Gospels in Greek, because Koine Greek was the world language, the international language, and uh, this is why the uh, apostles and disciples did not write in Aramaic, which, is, which was a local language, but in Greek, the international language. And this is, by the way, a proof that the Gospel was addressed to all the nations and not just to the Jewish people. This is a linguistic proof, a scientific proof, that the Gospel addressed all the nations. Well, at the beginning of the Gospel of St. Luke, Luke who was a companion of St. Paul's, chapter, first chapter, verses 25 and following, we are told that angel Gabriel was sent to a virgin called uh, Mary. Well, you have at least twice the name, the, the word Parthenos, virgin. A virgin from the uh, betrothed to a man from the house of David, whose name was Joseph, and the name of the virgin, Tonomatis Parthenu, Mary. Of course, for us Christians, it reminds us of Isaiah 7.14, especially in the Greek text, here the virgin gets pregnant and gives birth. The virgin, which is a, a nuance of virginity in the Hebrew Canaanite word Alma. Alma, which might simply mean uh, a, young, a young lady, whether virgin or not the Greek specifies Parthenos. Anyway, there is no need to repeat for you what you already know. So, why, why in the first place am I doing this, this video? In order to respond, in order to reply to a YouTube where some, some people, of course, whom we, we respect and whom we love, because we Christians have to love and to respect everyone, even our enemies, well, they claim that here something drastic happened, that there was a sort of rape, of a moral rape to the Virgin Mary, God forbid. Well, usually when you say rape, Excuse me, even a, uh, an unmarried Catholic priest knows that. <laughs> when you say rape, you imply sexual violence. How can an angel exert any sexual violence? An angel is a spirit. So this is a, already excluded from the very nature of the angel. If you are talking, if these friends are talking about a moral rape, well, there is no such a thing as moral rape. So let's talk or let's, let's listen to them talk about a moral pressure. In the sense, you have to accept to become the mother of the Messiah. This goes exactly against the texts. The text of the Gospels is clear. Mary asks, how can this take place since I don't know any man? Although she was betrothed to Joseph. Now betrothed, according to the old Jewish traditions, in the Ketava, or in the Erusin, as in the Muslim world, Katbul Kitab, or actually in the Muslim world, as in the Jewish Kitabah, 
already betrothal was an act of marriage. And this is why the Gospels talk about St. Joseph say, her husband, meaning her fiancé. And then the angel, the same angel talking to St. Joseph, saying, don't hesitate to take Mary, your wife, actually, your fiancé, your betrothed, but officially, legally, a fiancé in the uh, masculine and in the feminine was legally a husband and a wife. Or a wife, not, not both at the same time. So, where do these people, these friends of yours, where do they get these ideas from? Or is it that people are taking advantage of us Christians, that we have no violence, that we don't kill anyone, so everyone allows himself or herself to, any, to say any sort of nonsense, even things which go directly against our scripture. Mary, Mary asked the Virgin Mary, how can this be possible? The angel explained to her, the Holy Spirit will come upon you. The power of the Almighty will overshadow you. Someone from South Africa, to the best of my knowledge, used to say that these are undecent formulas. How come? Undecent formulas when he talks about the Spirit of God, the power of the Almighty, will overshadow you, a shadow. A shadow does not take any, anyone's virginity. The Holy Spirit coming on a person does not take his or her virginity. So, so how can that person from South Africa claim that? And people clapping hands. Here I am, the handmaid of the Lord, the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done to me according to what you say. So there was freedom in the choice of Mary. By the way, it's not such a big deal for us. If Mary had refused, would God be not powerful? Not to find anybody else? <laughs> so see how weak the situation is. The, the dear person who, who talked to me about this video mentioned that some of this group some persons of the, this group came from a, an Islamic country somewhere in the extreme east, in the far east. I mean, in, well, let's say in India or Pakistan or anything. Well, how about the Quranic text? If this man comes from a Muslim background, how about the Quranic text? The Quranic text talks about an angel. Our spirit becoming, looking like a fairly perfect young man. And this is why she was afraid because all of a sudden a young man was in front of her. And so she was afraid and she said, well, I take refuge in God, supposing bad intention from that young man who appeared suddenly. Well, so you see the difference, by the way, between the text, the gospel text and the Quranic text. But even, let's say, also in the Quranic text, the Virgin is not forced, the Virgin is free. The Virgin reasons, the Virgin speaks, the Virgin objects, the Virgin protects herself, and then he reassures her that that child will be a mercy of God's. So my dear friends, 
some people, especially some Christians, might even blow, uh, blame, sorry, <laughs> blame my friend and me uh, for dealing with these issues. You are right. Can we respond and reply to all nonsense that people say? But, as we say in Arabic, when there is a shot or a blow, even if it does not hit, it makes a noise. And some people might be affected by, by nonsense, especially when, when people do not read enough, do not know enough, do not pray enough. So we are here to answer, to reply, to defend as St. Peter asked us to do in his first letter, chapter 3, verse 15. Sanctify Christ the Lord in your hearts and be always ready to defend and not just to give an account. To defend the hope which you have in your hearts, but let this be with meekness and dignity. And we are trying to answer with love, with meekness and dignity. Thank you for your attention.